So that is a fairly common chime and you've probably heard it out in the field before. This is what the chime looks like and we're going to take a closer look at it and just show you what it can do. Now a lot of people call this the Schindler MT chime, but if we look at the bottom here, we can see who this chime really belongs to. And on the side here, there's some more information about the chime. The design itself is rather straightforward. On the left, there's the chime part, and on the right is the circuit. The things we're mainly interested in is the connector on the bottom, that's where you hook up the power, and the two potentiometers. This one controls the pitch, and this one controls the volume. Now I don't know the official voltage rating of this chime, but I found that 9 volts works very well. To connect a 9 volt battery, simply connect the positive to the side that shows the plus, and the negative to either of the negative pins. Change the pitch by turning this potentiometer. Turning the side potentiometer changes the volume. And there you have it, the Westinghouse elevator chime. I've always been kind of curious about this chime and it was definitely neat to see how this thing works and the different things you can change on it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and we'll see you next time.